Hi, my name is Lavish Kumar. In this video, we will cover how to manage polls on your Knobcomer site. For this tutorial, we are using version 3.80. So before we get into the setup process, let's talk about the definition of a poll. What is a poll? A poll allows you to ask a multiple choice question from your audience. The choices are predefined and audience basically select one answer in most cases. You can also see poll as a way of collection of opinions on a subject. So if you are running an online store based on Knobcommerce, you get the poll functionality out of the box that can be used to communicate with your audience and get their opinion on your products or services. So let's go to the administration section and learn more about polls. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard. From here, we'll go in the content management menu and select polls. Here we can see a poll that has already been created in Knobcommerce, which is which comes usually out of the box when we install Knobcommerce. So I'm going to go in the edit option and unpublish this. And now we will add a new poll in Knobcommerce. The name of the poll with the question. So let's say you want to create a question or poll about your product and services. So I'm going to name it as how satisfied are you with our products and services. We just want to make sure that this is published and this option gives you to display the poll question on the home page. So I'm going to check these two options allow guests to vote so if you would like your customer to sign in before voting or you can allow guests to vote so I'm going to select this option I'm just going to give a display order here start and end it can be used let's say if you are looking to publish a poll question on your website from a period so basically you can give a start date and same for the end date so it's going to disappear from your store site automatically you don't have to go and unpublish it so I'm going to leave it as it is right now as blank and I'll save and continue at it and I'll go in poll answer and add some predefined records here so let's say first option is very satisfied display order one update add a new record Satisfied. Display order two. Update. Another record as a neutral. And you don't have to stick with these options based on your store side products or services. You can have your own records or choices. It doesn't matter. And the last will be unsatisfied. I'm going to give the display order as 4 and update. And here we have the poll ready in which we can see that this is published. So now if we go in the public store and if I scroll down, here I can see the poll that we just created. How satisfied are you with our product or services? Very satisfied, satisfied, neutral or unsatisfied? So since we selected the option for guests, so anybody can actually vote for this question and they don't have to sign in in order to provide an answer. So let's say satisfied. And here we can see one vote has been submitted. So if I refresh the page, edit, and I can see here, very satisfied, got one vote. So here you can track the voting for each records or each answer, predefined answer for a question. And this is how we manage polls in Knobcommerce site. Now it's time for us to wrap up this tutorial video. Hope this was helpful. This video is brought to you by Knobcommerce, open source shopping cart. Thank you.